Yeah, it's this is the coolest part about being in the boat. Because when we bought the boat, we thought we'd just be hanging out in incredible anchorages and, and with scenery and scuba diving and snorkeling. But to be able to pull into a city like this, I feel like we're in the RV, but but on on the water. <laughs> this is so. I cannot wait to see what incredible cities we can pull into while we're on the boat. It's so funny that you're saying that because I was sitting here when you were down under and the sun was just coming up and I was thinking, imagine one day pulling into New York City. Or Sydney, Australia or something like that. Right, and then just going like in New York going to our Indian restaurant. <laughs> 2020 and 2021 so far will forever be known as the Great Pause. It has been a time where we all, whether we liked it or not, have been given the opportunity to take a well-deserved break, work on the things that make us tick, or completely reinvent ourselves and our world. This is called Shigiri Ito, which is a thread for tying a love knot. And you tie it onto the god of love and matchmaking right here. Which is this fat cat over here. For a healthy marriage. Does somebody need that? And since because we're, we're coming on 20 years. We're coming on 20 years. <laughs> so we need all the help we can. And if none of those fit your bill, at least there was a really good reason why things didn't go as planned. This is what it looks like in our family when we're looking to go from one place to the next. No, this is not what it usually looks like. This is what it looks like when someone forces us out of the apartment early. Either or, it seems that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and the world is starting to look forward to a post-pandemic life. Well, look at this, we have every single charger there is. You're not fighting for a charger? What, what look, I can tell you Security was super quick. For us, we are finally on the move on friendship. But just because our future is looking brighter, it in no way means that we can ignore our responsibilities. We sent Avalon out to the bank machine to get money to pay the guy, and look what she came back with. I bring gifts and, oh my God, tales of the outside world. <gasps> What's it like out there? Are we there in a place that British kids? People? Join us as we arrive in Barcelona and dip back to France to secure our ability to travel for the upcoming future. Yay! Yay! I'm so excited! I am free to roam about the world now. A special thank you to our patrons for making these vlogs possible. Nothing ever felt as good. Noisy. So today we are heading to Barcelona. We have completed our first journey from one country to the next, from one location to the next. It took us three and a half days. The first two days were in the last vlog and then we took like a long day just motor sailing because it was just, it was all headwind. And now this morning we, we landed at a spot that was about three hours from Barcelona where we're landing, I guess now, parking, docking. I still have to get these names right. Um, we're gonna be here for a couple days. There are, it's like, this is a weekend of logistics. Alan has a doctor's appointment. Jessica has to take care of some other personal effects. Um, we're gonna have some guests over, but I think at the most part, we're gonna enjoy what, what Barcelona has to offer. I think it's time to wake up the teenager. Good morning, Avalon! Welcome to Barcelona! You guys can't see it because there's a shadow, but she just pulled the blanket over her face. Right there, guys. Barcelona. We are on the move again. It really feels so incredible. I have missed culture and diversity and just different things. Like, we love France, 
but we're from France is very familiar to us. So to be someplace new, now we have been to Barcelona before. A couple of years ago, we actually spent Christmas here in the RV and got an Airbnb and then hung out with friends. So Lago, I like your Lago. I love your Salvador Dali moment. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by Salvador Dali? He had the plans of driving it to India when we first started, but I don't think we're going to be able to dip into it too much this time. You guys ready for big city life? No. They got some good food here. I wonder if they have oh, yeah, they yeah, Mexican. Yeah. Ah, the sounds of a city. Jackhammers. Largo. We're gonna wake up to jackhammering in the morning. This is what boating life's all about, Jess. Jackhammer sounds? That's right. It's 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 urban sprawl marina style. I can handle a little bit of urban sprawl once in a while. I'm all in. Puerto Olympic, Puerto Olympic, this is catamaran friendship over. Yes, I'm here, Olympic. Yes, we are arriving and uh, we have a reservation for three days. Uh, please let us know which station to park at. Sí, estamos ya estamos aquí a la entrada del puerto y queremos saber dónde tenemos que estacionar. Tenemos una reserva por tres días. Vale, vale, mira, a la mesa aquí en Gasolinera y y esta es la oficina ahí de de la venta de información. Bien, gracias. Okay, ¿Puedes decir over now? Kind of. Spanglish. Dad, it's over <laughs> out. That was Will's first time on the. You know what I noticed too, Will? You're holding it up to your ear. Like I think you just can put it by your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we passed our VHF class so long ago that we're a little out of practice on this thing. We are definitely out of practice. <laughs> and so. And according to our instructor, I barely passed. And so. according to our instructor, everyone speaks English, which is not true. But that's fine. We speak Spanish, so we're okay. <laughs> so what do you say? You said go to the gas station and then we'll figure things out. Alright. How does it feel to be speaking Spanish, Will? Uh, very... Comfortable? Very familiar. How does it feel to be wearing a mask again? Very familiar. After a four day break, is that weird? Listen, I can get used to not having the mask on, but... Being in a city, you kind of have to. So, hopefully, not much longer. These masks are necessary, yeah. except for when we're sick. <laughs> All right. So you're filling us up right now. And we're we're filling up, and then because gas is much cheaper here than in France, and because we burnt a lot of gas. Because we've been doing a lot of motoring. Find out how many liters. Quanto litro? Okay. It's so sexy when you speak Spanish. Can you throw in some crap that line worth there? And this is it diesel, see? Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that that would have been ugly. I, I, you know, you have to verify. As we are a family on the go, our adventure in Barcelona first started off by getting Avalon a blood test for her upcoming wisdom teeth extraction. This meant Avalon had an appointment with a needle. So in this travel life of ours, we get a lot of questions about medical. Avalon, I'm out of breath from coming up all the stairs. Avalon is having five wisdom teeth taken out in Valencia. And before she has it done, we have to have blood work done. So we found a lab in Barcelona that's going to take blood and we're heading in there now. So this is a new experience for her because I don't think you've had blood taken. No, it's been a while. It's been a while. So you learned a new word in Spanish today. Mm -hmm. What is it? Exciting, now you're learning medical Spanish. You okay? This is gonna hurt less than how much you hate running. I know. <laughs> In and out in 15 minutes, mm -hmm. that was pretty good. You feel good yeah. about it? Oh yeah, didn't hurt that bad. Very seamless, guys. And so, what, how do we find these people? We just went on Google and Googled a place to get blood taken. Uh, Will called because he speaks really great Spanish, and I, mine is más o menos. And they said, just come in. It's walk in. And so we did it. That's it. Now, time to what? Food. Food. 
But unfortunately, our brief time in Barcelona was seriously interrupted by an issue that derailed almost an entire day. So yesterday we had a bit of a uh, of an incident with our water tank. We essentially we, we filled up the water now that we're here in Barcelona because well we're in a port we have port water which is a whole lot better than listening to that water maker go off 24 hours a day and it overflow it overflowed because sometimes you just let it go and ordinarily it's not a big issue but this time. Well, ordinarily, I think the hose is in a little bit further and we didn't put it back in far enough when we took it out to test the water maker and didn't recognize that. So it went all in where the water maker is and I think down between underneath our cité and then down in here inside all the lockers. So we'd had to take them all out, clean everything out. We're in the process of putting stuff back in, but even this morning there's a little more water in here that still came through. So. The best part, this all happened 20 minutes before we had guests arriving for dinner. So we had all this stuff that's in the locker all over the counters. Luckily, we had prepped the food ahead of time, so it wasn't too traumatic, but it was, we couldn't even give them a tour of the boat. They could only stay up in the main part because every all the lockers were open and drying out. Listen, spring cleaning doesn't always come as planned. This is, everything's squeaky clean now. And it was, it was pretty dirty in there. Surprisingly, considering we've only been in here a short period of time, there was quite a bit of sand and stuff, so it did need to be cleaned. I just didn't want to do it today. And so all this right here was full of water. We have dehumidifiers going off. In there, we had to rip out the carpet that, that's in there. It was just like a, a more non-slip type thing. And, but this is the, the mess that we have to deal with today. Everything's coming out. Um, a, a work day that we thought we were going to be able to get because we have a stable environment is now turned into a cleanup day. Listen, no one ever said living on a boat was easy and we're, we're living proof that, you know, no, you have to work hard to make it happen. No shit. Um, <laughs> bleep, bleep, bleep. Paradise is coming soon. <laughs> I promise you. Um, on someone else's boat, not, not an ours. <laughs> <laughs> not today. How many tubs of water did you, did you still cook? Oh my gosh. I think we've done like 16 loads of laundry. That's, that's, that's not exactly an exaggeration. <laughs> And it's really hot today. It's really hot. And I would love to be at the beach, but it's not in the cards. This is, we're looking at the end of all of our laundry we have to do. We use every single towel in the place. I mean, look at this. This is all water that has been filling in the villages because of that water accident. There's a lot to pick up here. That, that hose is gonna be utilized quite a bit today. And then maybe I might hit that Canada dry. But these, these are these are essentially the things that we have to figure out while we're on the boat is how to make the mistakes and not let them cost us a fortune so that we can learn not to make them again. Um, this is uh, <laughs> I'm glad it's not like like 90 degrees outside because this we can handle today. Um, in the middle of the summer, I think this is just going to be well. This might be a little nice little foot pool. I could probably fill some water in there and then cool off. I know I say this and Will says this all the time, but do you want to know the crazy thing? I feel like that should be our tagline. Do you want to know the crazy thing? All right, so I got declined for my second COVID exam, as you guys know. Did we say that on the vlog? We said it last time. Okay. And today is the day I'm leaving, the sun's barely up, and I will take the train from Spain to France, get my vaccine, and come back all in one day and hopefully the vaccine doesn't hit me too hard because I can't just get the vaccine and go home a half an hour later and sleep. So if I fall asleep on the train, I may end up in oh my gosh. Malaga. <laughs> you wind up all the way. In Africa, oh, close to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> They'll just transfer me over to a ferry and just keep me going until I hit South Africa. Oh boy. It's a crazy life guys, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. And Will has graciously offered to walk me to the bus stop. I, I think, walk. and I think he knows I'm pretty bad with directions. So, if he doesn't walk, then I may miss, miss the bus to the train and not make they it. They got friends. good coffee here. I want to catch, catch it before everyone wakes up. They do have good coffee, and I'm not a coffee drinker. The good thing about Spain is that you can pretty much get up at 9 a.m. and still no one's awake. <laughs> so, especially on a Sunday. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember or not, but in one of our previous vlogs, 
Avalon and I were going back and forth between Spain and France because of her exams. And we did the PCR test because we didn't have vaccines then, and they never asked for it, ever. Well, on this train, on my way from Spain, same train, back to France, they asked for it. So they stopped at a location, the police came on, and they checked to everyone's identification as well as their either PCR or COVID. So they let me through with one COVID, um, with one, with one COVID vaccine because I said I was going on for the next one because that's why I'm here. So it was pretty interesting. They made people get actually get off the train, which was very odd. I would have been panicking if that was me. So here's where the adventure for the second COVID vaccine gets really exciting. I just arrived into NIMS. I got myself a little quiche to go here. Now I have to hop on a bus for 45 minutes, get, try to get to my vaccine a little bit early and hope they'll take me in because I have a quick turnaround. The only train that goes back to Spain tonight is at 3.30. My vaccine's at two and it's a 45 minute bus ride each way. So I have to get the vaccine, get out of there, get back on the train, or I'm gonna have to spend the night here tonight. Um, and I, I mean, I guess I could do that, but I don't really wanna spend the money and we're planning on sailing tomorrow to starting our trip to Valencia if I'm feeling okay. So fingers crossed everyone. So while I'm waiting for the bus, let's chat. I find it to be a great privilege and an honor to be a guest in a foreign country. And as a result, Will and I have always felt that it is our duty, even though we will fight anything. <laughs> We've lasted out here for this long because we're fighters. But we believe it is our duty as travelers as we go from country to country around the world to respect the local laws wherever we are. And right now, that's not my boss, and right now, there's a lot of laws when you're changing countries regarding COVID, vaccines, PCR tests, yada, yada, yada. There comes my boss, I'll have to come back to this. If we need a PCR test, we need to show a, um, a vaccine, we will do it, we will follow the rules. Now, as Americans, we don't have the best reputation for wanting to follow rules when we travel in other countries. And it's unfortunate, um, I've seen that happen. I've seen it not happen also, but I have seen it happen. Where an American will travel to a country and think that the rules don't apply to them. We won't even go into all of that, right? Will and I do not subscribe to that philosophy. Whether we, dis if we disagree with something ethically, then we will leave the country, right? It's hard sometimes to get out of your American mindset because we're all fighters. Um, we, the United States is the country it is because we are, we push limits and we question things and we challenge things. And that's okay in many, in, in many parts of travel, but it's not okay if it comes to health and jeopardizing other people's health. So, Will and I are not anti or pro vaccine, um, but we are pro keeping people, people healthy. So, that being said, thank you friends. Thank you for allowing me to get the vaccine. Thank you for allowing, not have it, so I don't have to fly back to the US and spend thousands of dollars. Thank you for allowing me to have a visa here and thank you for valuing science. I really, really appreciate it. There it goes, Largo. Oh, it hurts. Last time it hurt. Yeah, last time it hurt a lot. Okay. Um, oh, it's not bad. It wasn't bad this time compared to last time. Oh, now, no, now it hurts. Now it hurts. An entire day later, <laughs> I know it's like 8:30 at night now. I am back in Barcelona, guys. I feel great after the vaccine. Still. I hear it kind of hits a little bit later in the game for some people, but I'm starving. I have not been able to get enough food today. I have eaten like I ate when I was three months pregnant. Did that happen to anyone else? I stand by you when you're falling When the river is calling Okay, update from the morning after. You know how I said yesterday I was starving? I'm still hungry. I've eaten all of this and I feel like I need more food. I don't know if that goes along with it, but okay, so here we go. Aches and pains from like Camino times. My arm hurts a little. 
Um, I'm completely congested and have a little bit of a sore throat. And my muscles, I don't want to say they, they're achy, they just seem kind of jello-y, like I can easily fall down or something. So I'm going to muscle through. Our plan for the day is I'm going to go pick up the results from Alan's blood test. I'm going to pick up some groceries. Will's going to go run some errands. And then we're going to circle back on the boat and hopefully sail for a couple of hours today, pending to see how I'm doing. So you guys are going to come along and see this post back sail. Eat that last piece. You, you know you can't leave anything behind. <laughs> Hard Spanish part. I tomato on it, so. When things go wrong. So running errands, post-COVID vaccine. When you get to see this masterpiece on your walk to pick up the blood results, life is not too bad. Look at this. Go. And it won't take a I have the blood results in my backpack and get this I've gotten on the wrong bus twice now I'm not gonna pretend I'm really great with directions to begin with but I'm not completely dense I've managed to get myself around Europe without anyone with me in my teens and I'm not horrible but I think my brain feels really really foggy today and I just can't seem to make decisions and, and kind of like one and one plus one equals two. Did that happen to anyone else with the vaccine? But we only had enough hours left to pick up the blood results and then make a quick grocery run before it was time to head out. We're actually at our go-to grocery store in Europe called Lidl. And we missed the farmer's market by a day. So we have to like just do the best we can with, with this place. Lidl, as inexpensive as it is, it does a really great job getting you what you need as, as you need it. I'm looking for Manchego, but I don't see it. Because I know you love that. I, I think it's here. Will's favorite cheese here. I found it, Will. This is Will's favorite Spanish cheese. Nine to 12 months. Nine to 12 months, good? That's what my favorite French cheese is. All of them? All of them. <laughs> Now with friendship properly provisioned, it was moving day. And with the heat creeping up, we are now in 100% summer mode. Let's take this out. This is always the biggest nuisance. So our time in Barcelona was very short lived. I felt like it was all like medically driven and crisis aversion driven. Use your core. Oh no, that is. This is a great town and this entire port area is an, a great place to hang out because there's like tons of restaurants and there's beaches and so forth and so on and Largo and Emma and I did go out for an ice cream. That, there we, there we go. go. We got it. It's actually quite nice. Uh, we didn't bring out the camera because it was just one of those evenings where we thought we were just going to be present and next thing you know we lost all consciousness of what was happening and and there, there goes Barcelona. And, Here we are, we're leaving. Um, we will be back. I don't know when, but one day we'll be back. We're always back here in Europe. It's, it's like it's like a magnet to us. We can't escape it. In the meantime, we got ourselves a new chair right over here. It's one of these like comfort chairs, and they sit on top of the fridge that we have on the side. So now we almost have like I could sit like this. And this is gonna be so much more comfortable than sitting on the normal like cabinet chair. Right Lago, could you do the fenders in your sleep now? Um, I'm pretty sure anybody could. <laughs> Are you glad that we got those five bathing suits, Avalon? You mean seven bathing suits? Because that's all you're gonna live in now, right? That is, it's so hot. <laughs> I think they sell life jackets that are a little less cumbersome. I think they have like ones that are just like harness type. I know they were really nice in the winter when they kept us warm. They but were now. really nice. I think at this point we need to look at just getting like the harness type. That we, if anything happens, we can still sort of strap it if we have to. But I'm not going to turn turn into a, a melted piece of butter. Otherwise. Tell me your real thoughts, wildebeest. I don't like it so hot. <laughs> Should we say goodbye to the nude beach that you so? That's fondly? over there. So how do you know where it is? Because I walked by it. Hmm. That's interesting. I, I took the scenic route. <laughs> <laughs> you went to the grocery store that's five minutes away for three hours? <laughs> it is Spain. 
Ooh, I see someone with their spinnaker up, Will. Maybe in the next couple days we'll get our spinnaker up. I know you have spinnaker envy. I do have spinnaker envy. It's about time to... There we go, it's today. How's day two after after vaccine on the boat? Day two afternoon. I think I'm about 24 hours post vax And I feel the worst I've felt so far. Like, I'm, my brain is still really foggy. I'm congested. But my body is just, it just feels like... Are you motion sick? Do you remember that, what was that guy, that green guy that you stretched when you were a kid? Do you remember um, him? Gumby? Yeah, Gumby. Gumby. That's what I feel like. I feel like someone stretched me out like Gumby and then just let me go. I feel very, very weird and I'm so hungry. Maybe but, I'm pregnant. But are you seasick though? No, I'm not seasick. I didn't take anything today. I'm, I'm really, I mean, since we're only gonna sail for a couple hours and it's pretty light, I'm going, I'm going freestyle again. I'm getting bold, guys. I probably shouldn't be doing that, but. <laughs> Largo. It what? won't tighten. Do we have a bucket just in case something happens with mom? Oh, nope. I'm not gonna. Up. I never throw up. Of course she's gonna throw up. I never throw I've never thrown up when I've been seasick. Ever, ever, ever. Oh boy. That's wood under there. <laughs> Better not done some. I'm just fine because I got you. With all that medical stuff taken care of, um, it's time to explore a little bit more Spain. So we are taking off to Valencia. So it's about we're calling it a three and a half day journey, which we may include a little bit more risk taking on our end. Um, it's going to be in the next vlog. It's not going to be in today's vlog, but um, I think we're breaking down boundaries the entire time because we have very bold aspirations of doing some hardcore sailing in the very near future. And we have to start breaking down those fears very soon. So all that being said, um, we're going to enjoy today. It's not a lot of wind. And we're just gonna cruise along. We're not looking to motor all day because that's no good. And if we go slow, we go slow. And if we have fun, bonus. Hello. I'm vaccinated. Are you learning valuable life skills, Margo, by being on the boat? Totally. One thing is never leave the water open and unattended. <laughs> It's a recipe for a long cleanup operation, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. All right. I didn't take much there. Before. So Barcelona, it was a good time. It is now officially summer. Hot. It's it's so hot. It's super duper hot, it's, guys. It's naked sailing if we didn't have teenagers who would be totally repulsed I, by that. I don't think that. Listen. They... Is it a song? Yes. I keep it. Keep it coming. That's not the energy we want. I need a Leonardo.